Hey everybody, what's up? This is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income blog. I want to do a quick video today about your email subscribers, people who subscribe to your blog via email. Uh, not RSS subscribers, but actually email. And you know, it's actually a good idea to give people the option to, to subscribe via email, uh, you know, because some people like to receive their blog posts in their email as opposed to using something like Google Reader or some other type of RSS reader to, uh, to view your posts. So this is for those of you who have email as an option to, to subscribe, and this is through FeedBlitz. This is FeedBurner's email subscription service. Uh, there's a quick tip I want to share with you. As you can see here in my blog, I actually have uh, people can subscribe to both uh, the email and RSS feed up there. Uh, and again, this is not Aweber or MailChimp or anything like that. This is through FeedBlitz, which is done through FeedBurner. Uh, and here I am in my FeedBurner here, and I want to show you a quick tip because if you don't do anything, if you simply set up your email by going to publicize and email descriptions and just clicking activate, which I know a lot of you have done. Let's see if you click on the bottom, save, you know, this service is active. Uh, you know, when people receive your emails, whenever you, you uh, create a new blog post, the subject line of that email is going to look really weird. It's going to show the name of your feed not the name of your post and it's going to have some weird characters in it. I've had a lot of people ask me this question lately. Pat, how do you get your email subject line in your email RSS uh, looking good? And it's really easy. All you have to do is go into your FeedBurner account, go to email subscriptions, click on email branding. Down here you can see, uh, you can see email branding here on the left side. And right here where it says email subject slash title, you want to insert this text here. It's dollar sign, kind of squiggly brackets, latest item, title, close squiggly brackets. And you know, there's actually right here, it says hot tip use, and it says that, that syntax or code. Uh, and then you just plop that in there. And then whenever people get your email, every time you write a new post, uh, it'll look exactly like how you write it out in your title. So that's a quick tip I want to share with you today for FeedBurner. You know, for a while, I, uh, for over a year, I hadn't done this. And finally, someone emailed me and said, hey, Pat, you're, uh, thanks for all your posts, but your, your emails, the subject line looks kind of ugly. Is there any way to change it? So I did some research. Uh, and actually, this guy, one guy helped me out, showed me this. And uh, I thank him very much. And I want to pass that along to you. So thanks again. Hope that helps. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.